Every now and then you learn something completely new about a device that you've been using for the better part of the last year and it completely revolutionizes how you use that device. For me, that's the Zoom F6 and the 32-bit float recording while using it as an audio interface on your computer. And that actually was really mind-blowing when I learned about this because I thought that why the heck is this not part of this device? Why can't we do this? And I just wasn't looking in the right place, I would say. I do still think that it's not necessarily in a very obvious place, but let's just jump into it and let me show you how you can actually do this. Now, this video will show this a little bit differently because I cannot do certain things on the device as I am currently also recording it to do this recording. But essentially, if you want to record with this device, the Zoom F6, and you want to still use it as a audio interface on your computer to, for example, use the audio for podcast recording in a live Zoom call or something like that. And also, if you want to record the audio coming from your computer on the device, then you would have to set the following things up. First up, we have to go into the menu. Then we want to go into the rec setting. And then you might be able to see right here at the top where it says mode. It currently is set to dual 24 and 32-bit float recording. And this is actually crucial. I usually just set my device to float 32-bit. And that was my default the whole time. And the problem, however, is that when you then want to switch into the audio interface with recording mode, it actually complains that this is not possible because you're currently in 32-bit float mode. Now, I never came up with the idea that I could just change to dual 32-bit float and 24-bit mode to actually be able to then do exactly that. But essentially you wanna make sure that you have dual 24 32-bit float selected right here. And then we can go back into the main menu, go all the way down to system. And once you are there with USB in here is where you would then activate the mode for audio interface and recording mode. Now, if you have the Zoom F6, I trust that you know how to do that part. So I'm not gonna necessarily bother showing you that, but I found it really important to tell you that if you go into dual 32-bit float and 24-bit mode, you will actually be able to use the Zoom F6 as a 32-bit float recorder while you are using it as a audio interface. Now, there are a couple of caveats, of course. For example, if you are recording a Skype session where you get audio from another person to your Zoom F6, by, for example, using something like loopback for audio routing. And I have a video about that, or I will be having a video about that at some point in the future where you can see how you can set those things up. But essentially, if you wanna have the audio from your guest, for example, recording to the Zoom F6, you will, of course, not get a full 32-bit float recording because the audio is coming in in 24-bit and it is already compressed, probably even more than that and you are going to just be able to record that. However, what I think is definitely something that is really useful here is that you don't have to worry about the gain setting on the device while you are recording, so you're not clipping it in here. You are just recording exactly what you are receiving, and then, of course, you can have your own microphone recorded in 32-bit float, and then you have much more room to play with right there. And all of this is actually based on a comment that I recently got, and that is by Astro Pancakes, who basically told me that this is a possibility to use this in the dual 24 32-bit float mode. So huge shout out there. I'm actually amazed at how I was even able to miss that and complain about this not being a feature, but it actually does exist. It just wasn't on my radar to use the dual mode. A little bit of a exploration here as to why that might be the case. And in my thinking, that actually may be because if you are in just 32-bit float mode, the device essentially turns off all of the other 24-bit processing. Now, why the line out doesn't have the same issue, I don't know. But essentially what my expectation is with the dual 32-bit, 24-bit mode, essentially the device provides a 24-bit and a 32-bit float lane once the audio comes in. So it basically gets split. One jet gets just recorded right after that, and the other one is sent to the file recording, but also is sent to the computer. 
So one of the limitations of all of this is that the Zoom F6 cannot send a 32-bit float signal to your computer, but then again, you don't necessarily need that anyways, especially if you wanna do something like, for example, Skype call recordings and stuff like that. Of course, if you want to have a fully rigged out drum set or something like that, and you wanna record that in 32-bit float onto your computer, the Zoom F6 is probably not gonna be the device for you because it can only record that internally and not onto your computer. So you are able to record 24-bit with multiple channels in your computer, even with the stereo and the separated tracks and all of that with this audio interface mode with recording. And I am really glad that I found all of this out now and be able to share all of this. Now, if you find this video interesting or helpful, then I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions around this or even more features that I have been missing about the Zoom F6, please let me know in the comment section down below or in my Discord server, which will also be linked in the description. And if you wanna get yourself a Zoom F6 or any of the other gear that I use on a daily basis, you will find links to those things in the description below as well, which are affiliate links, making it possible for me to make more videos like this possible and sharing my findings, knowledge, and all of that. So with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Record your Skype conversations in 32-bit float with the audio interface mode and recording on the Zoom F6, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.